welcome to Dusty Job Collectibles here today at the Billericay Model Railway Group's 2024 exhibition. Well, a very warm welcome to Billericay, and uh, yeah, I came to this show last year, it was a very, very good one. Um, totally different layouts this year, which is good to see. We'll start with uh, Tiddley Yard, a wonderful O gauge layout. Just to point out the, uh, the ducks in the middle here, certainly quite a size, and uh, yeah, the uh, detail of one here is rather good. I keep saying, oh, gauges are uh, gauges that I do need to get into. Just over the way from uh, Tiddley Yard, we have uh, Long Framblington. side where the teas and coffees are being served we've got Witten Hill which is a P4 layout not a scale I'm overly familiar with and the 
layout's actually for sale. Quite a nice size with some good detailing on here. If I run down through the, uh, the scenery here at the end, you can see a sort of uh, hillside with a, with a mine on there. Okay, another end gauge layout. This is uh, Newbury Central. Uh, two turnaround loops at either end with a showpiece in the middle. And uh, yeah, indeed a giant sandwich sitting there. Around the turn loop, and then it'll come back through this uh, rather exquisite uh, show scene. Right, the loco is running sound, so let's see if we can record that. huge layout here, uh, which I believe belongs to the Billericay Railway Club, or the Railway Club. Yeah. It was here last year, and they just started putting down the baseboards, and uh, it certainly progressed quite a way over the last year. I mean, some of the scenery on here is so well done. Well, if I just uh, can across here, you can see all the rock face over here. I'm gonna zoom in. As always, my camera doesn't zoom in slowly. You can see the rock face there, and then when you get round to the other side of the board, you can see that it's still under construction. So yeah, this corner looks almost, well, it does look complete. I was going to say almost complete. It looks complete. Um, really detailed on the river there. Down through to a good yard that is well on the way. Got a turntable there that's still under construction. And then at this end, Obviously all the planning is there. You can see that uh, some of the rock face is already taking shape in the uh, polystyrene here. And uh, yeah, eventually this will uh, 
I'm sure will become as, uh, as uh, well done as the rest of it. And we're on the other side of this layout. Got a viaduct. It's well progressed, and you can see all of the uh, construction and uh, uh, planning. And I believe this part, this part was the only part that was complete last year, if I remember rightly. Just running through the, uh, the station here. But certainly uh, it's nice to see some uh, locos actually running around this uh, huge size layout. And this stalls plus daughters. Again, a shop quite local to here, and I still haven't been. I need to make a make an effort to go there. Right, well, this one's something quite special. Um, this is Flint Hills and Engage, a complete digital controlled layout. So if I just zoom in and pan up, you can see the screen with the control system for all of the locos on here. Very nicely done indeed. Now apart from the control and the rolling stock, I love the scenery in here. Rock faces, so well done here. And uh, look at the uh, garden here. So here we have DCC Concepts. So uh, I'll just walk you around here. The gentleman said I could come behind the stall. So essentially there's the, uh, the control unit here, which is the power cap. And over this side is the Aegeus unit, which uh, ups the amperage, allows you to control multiple trains on the track. And then at the front here, a display track. Uh, so just running back and forth here, displaying the uh, digital control of the locos. Let me just give you a quick close-up on the handset here. 
This is the one that's uh, controlling the locos going back and forth. So quite an interesting one here, Ballyconnell Road. And the layout's actually built, if I can try and pan up without uh, catching the gentleman here, in a circular arrangement. So controlled from the centre, it runs in a complete circle all the way around the uh, operator. And uh, has some rather nice scenery on here. Right, let's follow this uh, loco round and uh, get some idea of the scenery on here. There's a little uh, lorry that's going round in the background. Let's try and follow this one round the uh, round the track, give some idea of the uh, scenery. Great idea for a layout, really good. Chaplin's models, lots of uh, uh, die-cast models on here, and a few uh, wonderful locos, look at this one here. It's the same couple that were at uh, the exhibition last weekend uh, with their other layout, and again that layout was the same uh, same calibre. Uh, forgive me, I forget the name. Maybe I'll put it in the caption when I edit this.
well, a very nice and friendly local exhibition for me. Um, not too far away from where I live, so it didn't take long to drive here, which is nice. And uh, yeah, great selection of layouts in there. Very, again, all of these uh, exhibitions have a very high calibre of or quality of layouts. And so anyway, as always, thank you very much to all of the exhibitors and organisers. And uh, with that, I'll wrap this video up. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And uh, why not check out the channel? There's lots on there. And if you can subscribe, I'd be very grateful. And with that, we'll leave this video there. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.